Now, how to make an oven-baked, wood-fired pizza. We're here at La Piazzetta. We've got Sumash. He's going to uh, show us how they do a pizza here. Their version of doing the, the oven-fired pizza. You see here, he's he's got a container that's, that's made with the dough that they pre-prepare. And uh, he's making the, the proper size of it. He puts the uh, the dough in a round tin, which fits through your door, by the way. Fits through your oven door. And then he goes ahead and he, he perforates the, uh, the dough so that it uh, helps the heat come up through the dough and, and cook the dough when the, when the pizza is being made. And, uh, Music is offered free of charge for your entertainment pleasure while we're uh, doing this. And so he's got a little uh, tomato sauce. Now, we are early season in Ladakh right now, which means we don't have any uh, fresh produce that's made locally very much. So they have to rely a lot on uh, pre-packaged ingredients. So they, he's, he's gotten this... Uh, tomato sauce and it could be just a, a, a straight pizza sauce that they specially make. I would normally recommend just a tomato sauce that is just pure tomato, very soury, and then add all of your spices yourself. But you see what he's done now. He's He's got mixed veggies that are pre-cooked coming out of a pan there and he just kind of spreads those around. And now he's adding the olives. This is what they call the Lortolana pizza. This is going to be my pizza. This is a vegetarian pizza. And we see him adding the uh, sliced olives. Now he's putting in some corn. This is a lovely pizza, by the way. It's one of the it's one of my favorite pizzas in the world. And hopefully the glare is not too bad for you. But you see it right next to the earth oven, by the way, a tandoor oven. Perhaps in the future we're going to have a little course on that. Tandoori is beautiful food as well. And while we're at it, let me see if I can't uh, give you a good zoom on this or a good, a good picture of this oven. Here's the back of the oven. This is called the yak oven because uh, we've got a real yak skull on the top of this. You see here the uh, sheet metal wrapped chimney going up through the roof. This oven's four years old. We built this together, uh, me and the staff here, four years ago. And this is fashioned, due to the skull, this is fashioned in the body as being a body of a yak. Of course, you have the option of doing whatever you like. But as soon as uh, they came up with the skull and said, how about this? I uh, immediately had a convenient design for the pizza, or for the for the oven rather. And Sumash is back. And now, not only do we have green olives, we have got black olives going on next. This is kind of a, a, a huge mix of all the kinds of different little veggies that go on. Each each is not too much, so you can you can make a pizza with a small onion, uh, several tomatoes, but just one or two of this and that. Now this is a cheese sauce that is also pre-packaged. It's a, a cheese blend, uh, uh, I am corrected there. And now he's got uh, some Amul cheese, some uh, mozzarella cheese from Amul. Amul, by the way, is one of the great cooperative success stories on the planet. Uh, as I write for For Farmfolio myself, uh, I have uh, researched Amul uh, to great results, and I, I do write about uh, organizations like this. They have organized the farmers very successfully in India. This is just a little aside while Sumash is going ahead and he's grating his cheese enough to uh, cover the vegetables. Now, uh, when we put the cheese on top like so, uh, this is what uh, Westerners might call the Chicago style pizza. 
uh, when we uh, put the cheese on the bottom and expose all the vegetables on top, which would be the flip side of this, uh, this is what we Westerners might call the Italian style. And then, of course, depending on what region you're from, they'll change the name of that as well. But this is uh, how we're terming it uh, for simple life um, purposes. But this is what it looks like to start out. Now, normally, what I would do is when you put the, uh, not that it's any different from here, but just to let you know, when I put the dough down on the bottom, I'll go ahead and put my tomato sauce, and on top of that, I'll go ahead and add all my spices. Now comes the exciting part where Sumash is putting it straight in the oven. And what we see here, if you can, if you can focus on that, or if I can focus on that, rather, is the pan goes directly on hot coals. You see there's a minimal of wood, a minimum of wood in there because they need to save wood in order for this to be an economic uh, kind of a venture for them. And it does not take long for this to burn, for this to cook rather. So you'll see just a few logs in the back and then it's only been in for, you see how long it's been in, just a few seconds. And then he turns it around, puts it back on those coals. Uh, when you have minimal wood, you want to maybe break up some of the coals and put them under the pizza pan so that it will uh, cook the bottom as well. And you see we've already got a pizza that is nearly finished. So he turns it around again, he checks Checks to make sure that it's evenly cooked. He keeps it near the entrance just to finish it off. By the way, if you've got too much water or if you've too much bubbling going on, on the top, then it, it still needs to cook for a little bit while longer. And this is basically why he's still got it in there and why he is still turning it around. Get, get some of that bubbling out, get some of the water content out of the pizza. You see my shadow there, but uh, there we go, Bob's your uncle. We've got ourselves a pizza, and now it comes out of the oven. Sumashi brings it back to the little prep table there, and he slices it up, slides it onto your plate, and Bob's your uncle, I've got a pizza to eat. Yeah, and there you have it, finished product. I sure hope this music isn't drowning my voice out. But you see how long it took to cook? One more shot of the yak oven. And uh, I'm gonna close off here because uh, I'm getting hungry looking at this. But that's basically, in a nutshell, how to make a pizza in a clay or earth oven. And just to prove to you that I'm not lying to you about the location, here we go. This is the uh, Ladakh range of the Western Himalayas on a beautiful day in mid-June 2017. Here at La Piazzetta restaurant, some of the likely lads doing some of the local uh, chores for the restaurant here. We've got quite a bit, quite a large plaza here for having entertainment at night sometimes. There's live music and dancers and local shows, this kind of thing.